Hey there everyone, Ramesh here back again with another video. In this video, we'll take a look into how to use ChatGPT as a Linux terminal. Well, you might be wondering why would I use ChatGPT as a Linux terminal. So here are the some practical use cases. If you are a new to Linux, this is the risk-free way to practice commands and understand their behavior. You can explore various commands without worrying about affecting the real system because ChatGPT basically simulate the real-time environment of Linux terminal. It's great for debugging command syntax or testing small script. So this Linux terminal in ChatGPT perfect for learners and trainers to demonstrate the Linux concepts. Well, before jump into the Linux terminal in a ChatGPT, let us first understand what a Linux terminal is. A Linux terminal is a command line interface where users interact with the system by typing text commands. It's powerful, efficient, and widely used by developers for tasks like file management, programming, and system administration. Now imagine if you don't have access to the actual Linux environment or you want to experiment without installing any software, that's where the ChatGPT comes into picture. So quick refresher, ChatGPT is an advanced AI model trained to generate human-like responses. But it's not just about casual conversations. ChatGPT can take on personas or mimic tools, including a Linux terminal. This means you can type Linux commands and ChatGPT will respond to you as if it were a real terminal. Sounds cool, right? Let's go ahead and let us see how it works. So to get started, open the ChatGPT. You can use any interface where it's accessible. Now type the following prompt. You are in Linux terminal, I will type commands and you will respond as a terminal would. If I type something invalid, you will let me know. Let's begin. Just hit enter. This prompt tells ChatGPT to act like a Linux terminal. It's that simple. Once you have entered this, ChatGPT will switch into terminal mode. Now that we are in a terminal mode, let us start with some basic commands. For example, let us type ls. ChatGPT will respond with a list of files and directories as if it's an actual Linux file system. Remember, this is a simulated environment, so the results might not be the same as your local machine. Next, let us try another command pwd and hit enter. So this will return the current working directory. Again, it's a simulated, but the response mimic a real Linux terminal. Next, what about running programs or scripts? Let us try something simple. So type this command, echo hello world. And there we go. ChatGPT will display the output as expected. However, it's important to note that it's simulated. Let us try a few more examples. So here just type python 3 hyphen c and then print. 5 plus 3. So this is the Python script and just hit enter and notice here ChatGPT will simulate the Python output and return 8. It's not actual running the script but mimicking the expected output. Next let us try bash command to loop through the numbers. Type for i in 1 to 5 do echo and then done and submit the prompt. And notice here, ChatGPT will respond with a simulated output of numbers 1 through 5 and as you expected the loop in a real terminal. Finally, let us simulate listing active network connections. So just type net stat hyphen an submit the prompt. So ChatGPT will respond a sample output showing the table of simulated network connections. While it's not a real, it's structured just like the real command output. Now what happens if you type an invalid command? Let us see. So just type A, B, C, D and just submit the prompt. I notice here, chat GPT will respond with an error message, just like a real terminal. This is great for learning because it helps you understand what went wrong. Okay. Next, let us try some advanced commands. So here, just type the command talk and next submit the prompt 
and here you can see chat gpt will simulate a table of processes cpu usage and memory usage of course the data isn't a real but structure is accurate okay next let us say you want to simulate a network related commands so just type ping google.com and submit the prompt and look at here chat gpt will respond as if it's a pinging google complete with latency data okay so this is how you can use some advanced commands in a linux terminal next you might be wondering why would i use chat gpt as a linux terminal so here are the practical applications learning linux if you are new to linux this is a risk free way to practice commands and understand their behavior exploring linux commands you can explore various Linux commands without worrying about affecting the real system. Next, debugging. It's a great for debugging command syntax or testing small scripts. Next, teaching and demos. This is perfect for learners and trainers to demonstrate the Linux concepts. So these are the use cases and applications why you use ChatGPT as a Linux terminal. Next, limitations of ChatGPT as a Linux terminal. Of course, ChatGPT isn't perfect. There are some limitations you should be aware of. No real execution. ChatGPT does not actually execute the commands. It only simulates the responses. Next, limit context. The simulated file system and data might not reflect a real Linux environment. No internet access. Commands requiring internet access like downloading files won't work accurately. Even with these limitations, it's an excellent tool for learning and experimenting. Before we wrap up, here are some of the pro tips to get the most out of this feature. Use detailed prompts. Be specific when instructing ChatGPT to act as a terminal. For example, include details like file structure or a command behavior. Combine with learning resources. Pair with this feature with Linux tutorials for a hands-on learning experience. Experiment freely. Don't be afraid to try different commands and see how ChatGPT responds. It's a great way to build confidence. Well, let me recap what we have discussed in this video. We have explored how ChatGPT can act as a Linux terminal from running basic commands to simulating advanced ones. It's a power tool for learning, teaching and experimenting. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more amazing tech content. And let me know in the comments what command are you excited to try with ChatGPT? Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.